hello guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to explain you the the types of fire protection system so we have to continue the firefighting basics of firefighting topics so i have already explained some basics uh, in my previous uh, videos so please uh, go and watch that video so let us start now here so first one is uh, the types of fire protection system is uh, first one is the fire extinguisher second one is automatic sprinkler system so in this uh, in this uh, wet pipe system dry pipe system deluge valve system and pre action system so in the automatic sprinkler system four types are there okay and next one is foam system which is, which is not in the syllabus water spray is also not there second one is co2 system which is there in the syllabus clean agent system fm200 fm200 wet riser system dry riser system and hydrant system so these are the some fire protection system which we have to discuss so Go to the next so you can see here the this is the fire extinguisher uh, is uh, looks like this okay and here is the automatic uh, sprinkler system so this is some uh, examples of automatic uh, sprinkler system and arrangement so this is your uh, vertical pipe vertical riser is called and these are the branches uh, the branches is connected with uh, a sprinkler system okay this is the riser and this is the main and these are the these are the branch and with the branch there are so many sprinklers are connected and this is the fire pump and the fire tank okay so this is the arrangement of a sprinkler system automatic sprinkler system here is the CO2 system so carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is uh, CO2 carbon dioxide gas is used in CO2 system the purpose of CO2 system is to reduce the oxygen level from 21% to 14% by increasing the CO2 level okay to 34% so if you reduce the oxygen level and increase the carbon dioxide that means you are reducing the oxygen that means if you reduce the oxygen the fire will be depressed fire will be removed okay so the per main purpose uh, for the co2 system is to reduce the oxygen level if you remove the oxygen level that uh, you mean you are removing the fire you are protecting uh, the fire it is stored in arrangement of cylinder called a cylinder bank so i will show you the photo how it is arranged and uh, is the cheap compared to the other non water fire protection system but leaves residue okay so used in less or uh, no occupancy area like electrical panel control rooms generator rooms etc where there is no occupant available so looks like this this is the co2 cylinder bank cylinder bank of co2 is all connected through one main pipe clean agent fm200 is also called clean agent so combination of inert gas mixed with dry nitrogen what is clean agent clean agent is nothing but the combination of inert gas mixed with dry nitrogen is called clean agent Extingu extinguish the fire by quickly discharging the gas by that remove the heat system is developed to discharge the gas to reach 7% concentration in 10 second 10 second 7% of concentration of gas is uh, released or discharged prefer over co2 
system as uh, does not leave any residue as uh, so this uh, fm200 does not uh, is uh, do not leave any residue mainly used uh, to protect the critical high value electronic equipment as in server room so mostly this fm200 is used in server room okay or uh, mcc room this is the example when the fm200 in action so it looks like this okay next is uh, dry riser so dry riser is uh, nothing but uh, this topic we have to discuss in the next video so please be with me and keep watching my video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye